Hello everybody. Um, different location this time. Um, due to some drama going on and then plus um, family things, I've come to, um, to stay with my family for a couple weeks. So, um, but I did bring two Nendroids that I was kind of interested in opening it up and maybe doing a video. So I was like, well, we're going to sleep right now, so let me go ahead and open them up because I just really want to open these two. Um, but I'm probably only going to do a review for one today. Um, so with this one, I think is probably a little bit more popular. Um, and I know that the longer I wait, the more likely somebody else is going to do a video or nobody's going to watch this video. Um, but today I have Android 1523. Oops, but not go. Please forget the lighting because the lighting is a little weird um, for today. But yeah, I'm super excited about her. Um, I got into the quintessential quintuplet game a little late. Um, I still have to find a Ichika, but I basically got all the other ones pre-ordered. Um, but this one was the one that kind of started me getting the rest of them because I was only going to get one, and one turned into two. And then by the time I was like three, I was like, I might as well get the other one. But anyways, let's go ahead and see what she is like. Okay, I'm actually going to talk a little bit about the box. I actually really love the design of the box. Um, the front, the bottom, and the top actually have the white with the different color um, flower um, petal motif on it for the different sisters and the different sisters' character color, basically. Um, and Yotsuba's is green so as you can see you've got green on both sides as well as the back of the box itself um which i think is a is a really nice touch and it's it's one of those things where if you wanted to keep her inside the box i think she would have been great to display inside the box and if you could see the inside is actually green too um but me myself like i always i always take my ninja outside of the box like i feel like japanese toys are a little bit different than american toys and i feel like the value does not really depreciate as much um i wish you can see her sisters over here in the corner <laughs> um very appropriate for uh this uh, unboxing but right here we have the instructions this side I happen to flip it on the English side um, Nendroids nowadays have um, majority of them have both a English instructional as well as the original Japanese instructional um, because they know how much us um, the international market is falling in love with Nendroids um, and it shows you like how to how to put things together if you need assistance in that and I'm actually curious about this one or this part if you can use it on anybody else or if it only can be used on Ichika. Um, I may try that out later with an Android I already have out um, because I'm not opening Mocha yet. Um, I decided just to go ahead and do Yotsuba first. So and here she is outside of the packaging you can see her signature bow as well as an extra bow um her face plates her her standard face plate is the face plate she normally has she's just a very happy character um her embarrassed face and then this awkward face i really do like this but i don't know if i will actually display her in that one um like I said in a previous video, I actually got a um, a kimono, a green kimono, so I could use with her. But I almost want to get an extra hairpiece um, so that I can have her in her school uniform as well because I just think they're really cute. Um, anyways, let's go ahead and open her up and take her out, and I'll put her in some um, in some poses for you. Something I just noticed with mine. 
um, and I probably will end up contacting Good Smile Company for this. Um, I have like this big old scratch that goes back right there on her hair, and that just is really disappointing for me. Um, I think there's a little one on this side, but it's not as apparent, so that wouldn't bother me. But this right here kind of, it really does, if you can see it, yeah. So I'll probably be contacting them about that and maybe get a, a replacement hairpiece and see there's that. Right there is not great, but like I said, I can forgive stuff like that, but this right here is just really upsetting. Um, but otherwise, other than that, she is really, really super cute. Um, I'm going to put her on the face and see what she looks like all set up. I actually decided to do this pose first because you don't really have to change out any of the pieces. You only needed to change out the face plate, which it actually in person looks a lot cuter than what it did on the picture. So I actually really like this pose. Um, then again, like I said before, the hair is more prevalent if I turn it to that side. Um, but then again, I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm I'm going to try to get Good Smile to, uh, or contact them and see if they'll replace it. Um, if not, I might end up trying to buy another hairpiece just to put on her, um, versus, um, the damaged one. Um, anyways, let's get on to the next post. Now, this post was originally done with the happy face, but with test scores that low, <laughs> I think the the sad face or embarrassed face looks a little bit more uh, accurate uh, to what's going on. Um, this one was a little bit more difficult. Um, you have to change out the arms because the arms flap out more. Um, and the pegs on those are a little bit bigger. So it's a little bit, you have to give it a little bit force, but I don't like forcing it all the way because I feel like the the original arms won't fit like they should um, if you push in too much. I know I, uh, the original Ryuko, I had an issue with that where um, I used an alternate arm and then when we went to use the original um, arm or, or switch it back, um, it wouldn't hold in correctly. Um, so that's why I always get nervous. But she's super cute like this and I can semi-hide the, the, the problem with the hair. Um, it's just one of those things I always know that it's there and like you can see it from from the back because it's not even the, the problem is is it's not even a um, it's not like a paint transfer it's an actual like scratch um, so it's it's kind of distracting but if I if I push if I put her like this um, you can't really see it um, but I'm going to go back to the happy face, um, and do one pose like that. I'll be right back. Yeah, so this is probably the, um, pose I'm going to keep her in for the time being. Um, I like the, the floor, um, that she's holding up. Um, I think it's really cute. So this one's like a very simple pose that you can do for her, but I think it's really cute. Um, so yeah, um... Her like that right now. Um, I'm going to go and grab. Um, well, I can go ahead and show off uh, the custom injury um, that I just um, put together um, as well as um, see if the um, the bow can work on somebody else other than um, Ichika. So hold on, and I'll be right back. Yeah, it definitely won't work on this one um yeah it i'm pretty sure that it's probably going to be strictly um ichika that it works on um but maybe um this is to other um nakano sister nendroid so once i get some of the other ones i may try it on them as well and just see if it does um that you can see how the bow is very get it to focus and bring it into the light um how it's very narrow right here um so that's kind of hard to fit on the back we could double bow her 
see, I don't even think it'll work there either. Um, but yeah. And just to go ahead and show everybody this little beauty. Um, this is Minako Aino from Sailor Moon. Um, I saw a couple parts and I was like, well, let me go ahead and and put her together. Um, the bow was probably the hardest part. Um, I had to pull the bow off of one android and pull the original bow off of this uniform out and replace it. And uh, the way it was set in, the original one was a cube um, where the replacement was a peg. So I had to go in and put clay and then kind of paint over it a little bit because the clay I use is, um, comes out kind of yellowy. Um, but yeah, and I was surprised that I actually found a decent bow, um, to use for her. Um, I felt, I thought I was going to have to finagle a, a bow. Um, but yeah, I absolutely love her now that I have her all put together. And she actually looks like Minako, which is crazy. Um, but anyways, back to Yotsuba. Um, I think she is an adorable ninjoid. Um, then again, all the Nakano sisters are kind of adorable. Um, she's pretty simplistic. Um, my only concern is the quality control. And I feel like I've been having more issues lately. But the funny thing is, and I've just noticed is that the majority of the quality control ones that I have come from Ami Ami, which is really kind of funny. Um, but I just feel like I've had bad luck lately so um but I'm sure if I contact them they'll replace it but with COVID and and um airmail still being down I don't know when or even if that I'll get I'll get that because there was a it was actually an issue I had with my Zenitsu um several months ago um that I contacted them about and that was a paint transfer um and they said they were going to send replacement, but that with COVID and, and airmail um, not being a possibility right now, that um, if I didn't get it by so many months to maybe resubmit it or something, um, which I ended up fixing him myself. Um, but since this is a paint scratch um, to, through to the plastic and not an actual like um, paint transfer, um, yeah, I can't really fix that myself. Um, but anyways, um, I would suggest her for, um, the quintessential quintuplet fans, um, especially if you, if she's your best girl, um, but, um, I'm really super excited for, um, for Itsuki when she comes out, but then again, I did get, I didn't get the her through Ami Ami, so I'm gonna have to wait an extra long time for her. Um, in the meantime, I will probably be looking for Ichika. Um, when she hits the U.S. market. Um, anyways, um, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope it was um, informative and not too long and drawn out. Um, but anyways, um, let me know um, what Nindroid you think I should unbox next. Well, um, I have the um, Yachio from um, Madoka Magica that she's still at the house. Um, I believe if I do a video, another video here, it will be of uh, Mocha Alba from Bang Dream. And uh, after the, after the, uh, the um, debacle with uh, um, Yotsuba, I might need a little cheering up. Um, one final note about the Nindroid before I, I leave you guys. Um, pulling her hair off is a little bit more difficult. This kind of tends to be really tight that I pulled from the bottom just to make sure because I was super nervous about this being damaged or broken um, just because it's um, fixated to the actual or it's part of the, the hair mold um, itself. Um, but anyways, um, if, you, if you like this video, give me a like and maybe subscribe if you want to see more Nindroid stuff. But y'all have a good one and I'll see you next time. Bye.